Hard times came. So hard. I'm an old dog already, but even I had to learn some new tricks to make my life easier. Tricks like blackjacking sitting people, stealing a weapon from a gaping fool, and climbing flags as ladders. However, I have to admit that the city watch, while they are patrolling the streets, are not foolish at all, and usually there's no chance to pickpocket them. Yesterday, I broke my lockpicks, as if that isn't enough. While getting out of the trap, I had to use all my equipment on some damn mansion's guards. Oh, real cutthroats. It was the final straw. I was so furious that I screw up, left the job undone. To cool off a bit, I left delivery orders at a couple of backstreet shops and spent all my free cash on a lady of the night. The girl turned out to be so sweet that I spent the rest of the night and most of today with her. It's late. Cut that. It's late evening already, so I came back to reality and entered my flat lit a second ago. Hello. And welcome back to Thief 3. And the start of some much longer missions than just single missions, most likely done for some small competitions. Uh, this time we'll be playing Cabal, Furious Flames. And there's actually, I think, five parts of this. Don't know how long the missions are in each part, but we'll find out. So far, at least with the writing, I like. All right, let's see what we got here. Garrett, my dear teacher, may I call you that? I dared to bring you some equipment to show my gratitude for your lessons. I hope it will be useful. The range is not very diverse, but it is impossible to get any other types of arrows now. No idea why. Looks as if somebody purposely stored them up. However, let me draw your attention to the pocket lantern. It's absolutely leak-proof. Tonight it myself. May I ask you also to demonstrate it to us once again, your special knockout method? I mean, the one where you hit the victim with a vodka arrow first and then you stun him with your blackjack. I left a few vodka arrows too. Ex-Keeper Rodney from the fraternity at Stone Market. P.S. Once again, thank you heartily for all your help. So I'm assuming that this is after Thief 3 and Garrett's restarted the order. Huh. Oh, the, the note actually stayed on. Interesting. Vodka arrow. The vodka arrow makes your opponent drunk. Wow. And temporarily forces them to forget any troubles. Also, you can combine it with your blackjack or dagger arrow for more effectiveness. Hopefully, you don't actually just need that, right? Why not just knock people out? Darkness arrow. The darkness arrow douses fires and turns off most lights, even electric lights. You can also make your opponents temporarily blind by shooting them in the head or chest. Huh. Freezing arrow. The freezing arrows freeze your opponent t to death. Ooh, so I'm not using those. It also douses small fires such as torches, or oil lamps, and candles. So I have different types of arrows. That's good, I guess. Pocket lamp. The pocket lamp will illuminate any night for you. Do any night? Any night. Uh, let's see here. We just equip it. Do I use it? Yeah, you just use it. Oh, cool. Bucking lantern. Who would have thought? Oh, I put a door in, and I can't get in there. But I want to get in there. Only a half a year has passed since the story of the last glyph's activation. But life around here has changed so substantially that it feels like decades. I'm watching, looking back, and thinking, and my conclusions scare me. Artemis, am I getting too old? The war against Black Brook is still not over, and it has lasted long enough to exhaust the citizens with taxes and drafts of nine-tenths of the young men for the Baron's army. When it all began, everyone could see that our Baron as city's sovereign and warlord, would lead the army and leave the city in care of the city council. 
However, no one could predict that the raw recruits would be directed to build private mansions for the council nobles instead of training and drilling. The whole city laughed at the poor lads early on. Of course, after the flood of death notices overwhelming the city, lots of potential recruits are in hiding now. Moreover, both illegal guilds help them disappear by recruiting these young men to the guild's ranks. Is it me who's going out of my mind or the world around me? Prices have doubled, people grumble louder and louder because their earnings are still the same. The number of street beggars is increasing every day. How soon will the mutinies begin? For the most part, the city watch guards are too busy with extortion to protect the citizens as they should, and the ju judicial engine is fueled solely by bribes. The citizens find more reliable protection by paying for the effective security and quick judgments offered by the criminals' guilds. These are arrangements have become so commonplace that the phrase to pay for the roof was coined to refer to them as a result. The coon platoons fight ever more publicly for fresh turf. How close are we to the, an outright civil war? After all this, even seeing the robes of the keepers and mechanists in the city streets is just one more crazy detail to this picture of great chaos. As for the mechanists, I wasn't very surprised by them. Their hammer-style camouflage wasn't perfect, so I could spot them before, but they walk openly now. This is something new. But the keepers are different. The order is already in shreds. If there are any organized groups left in hiding, they surely will be as quiet as a mouse. As for other former members, some were too old to handle such a global change and killed themselves. Others left the city and vanished into thin air. A few were lucky enough to find a profitable job or had prosperous relatives. Several attractive youths were taken into trades by the local pimps. All of them bought new clothes and live as common citizens. However, most of them became keeper acolytes straight from the streets or charity schools. They had no other place to go and no relatives to find, so they still stay together, wear old keeper robes and sleep in ex-keeper chambers. One reason for them to do so is that the former order cash didn't disappear when the glyphs did, but money always runs out eventually. And as I saw during my last visit, the ex-keeper's fraternity was selling furniture and robes. Another reason is safety. The peasants and bourgeoisie are so aggressive that it is rare for an ex-keeper to return from the city streets without any fresh bruises. Twice a week I bring food, clothes, and money to the keeper library. Each time on my way there I call myself a sentimental idiot or a foster mother, but it doesn't help me to stop. So he didn't reform the uh, keeper order, it just kept going, just not in the same way that it did before. Alright. The letter says, Garrett, my dear, you are in great danger. On my way home, I overheard a short conversation between two city watch patrols. The guards are going to arrest you. Run! They will be here any minute. And one more thing. If you are still interested in new lockpicks, come to see me before 12 midnight. Yours, Marla. Marla? <laughs> yeah, Marla. Her stores is in the stone market. She complained once that things had become so bad that she had to hire a room in this shabby DOS house. The noose and mug inn. At least the inn is in South Quarter. Stones throw from my own place. Well, to have new lockpicks is good news, but let's face it. The order I left yesterday was much longer. I know someone's there. There, you! Surrender or die! Oh, you run away from here! Guards! Uh, oh. I... Question! Where was Victory I supposed to go? Mine. I'm assuming they wanted me to use a vodka arrow. But... I didn't save, did I? Well... Shit. <sighs> okay. Vodka arrow time. I know someone's... 
but only able to get two of them. Fuck! Oh, it opened over here. Well, that's great. Wish I would have known that. I wouldn't have used my vodka arrow. Crap. looks so nice from the rooftops at night when I'm running from the law. So far, I'm really impressed by this. A little bit of voiceover work and it probably would have felt like the original. Everything's so cynical and Never anymore. It definitely feels like this was Russian made. You'll have to let me know if I'm incorrect in the comments below. Because I didn't really research it. I just play the games. Yeah. City Council, Special Advisor Mercia, Secret Cabal known as the Keepers, is hereby declared an enemy of the city. Having compassed the death of the Baron in several quarters and agitated against his authority. This much amounting to treason. Henceforth, all members of the sect are to be placed under arrest and kept in pave lock until such time as punishment, considered most fitting for their crimes, is carried out. Anyone caught harboring or aiding their agents will be considered traitors likewise and will be dealt with most harshly. What a huge fire. So close to the Keeper Library? I must get there somehow. Of course, I should find a safe way to stone mark it first. Oh, I almost got. Thanks to the mark on my hand, I can see the aura of those people who are useful to me or need my help. I can accept their quests or not, but it's forbidden to kill or hurt them in any way. And one more thorn in my side. I feel naked without my equipment. I should find Marla at the Noose and Mug Inn and pick up a couple of lockpicks. Sounds good, as long as I'm not dead. Apparently they can't open the door. So I can see people's auras? Jesus fucking Christ! Well, things are going badly, I would say. Well, at least they stopped kicking the corpses. Oh, now, now, now they're just all, all upset. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Did I kill anyone? Okay, how? They are marked with a blue arrow. Just, nor that is not what I meant to do. Um, are they just normally with the blue arrow? Do I have to use an item to see that? All right. Let me out. All right. Let's save. I am definitely going to stay in the shadows now. I mean, I was gonna before, but now even more so. So, is that the inn over there? Time to t knock out some asshole guards. They're even more assholey than normal. Sucks. 
Just put your sword away, man. It'll be fine. Yeah, there's nobody here. It was just a rat, obviously. Also, you alerted yourself. You, you, you was kicking the people. Uh, or is this one right here? Hmm. I'm gonna go everywhere, so... Oh, did they just freeze in spot? I was not expecting that. Just push him and the box aside. Now they're both searching. What? This is a bunch of bullshit. I didn't do it. Alright, maybe I can sleep on sleep? Slip underneath. I'll probably have to sleep underneath some places as well. Give them some time to cool down. Hopefully I don't need to use another vodka arrow on them, because I'm thinking those are gonna be rare and I've already wasted one. Hello! You didn't hear nothing, don't worry about it. It's closed, of course it is. It's closed, of course it is. Crap. That is less than ideal, and I can't open this one. I can? Wait a minute. All right, just making sure. Hmm. It definitely went out of their way to make this more open city from what I what it sounds like, but let's see how it is in practice. You're looking at the blood. You're the one that kicked those people. Also, where'd the people go? Half a minute. Half a minute. A whole half a minute. Did I hear something? Oh, you didn't hear nothing. Hey, was that is that somebody? Mm. Just there splashing around the water. Don't worry about me. Nothing there after all. There was never anything there to begin with. All right, do we still have my climbing gloves? Who was that? What is that? I don't know what that is. It's just a health potion. It just looks different. It's just red holy water. It definitely seems like they took the obvious storyline of since the other factions have fallen, the three main factions that were showcased in Thief 1, 2, and 3, the only faction left was uh, the city itself, the government, city guards. I mean, Thief went for that too. I mean, uh, the thief that never existed. What, are you serious? What's that then? Nothing. Wait, right up. Are you fucking kidding me? Over nothing. Yes. Oh God! Of course they had to put marble here. Someone out there? No. It is a thing. Evening. So I. Seriously, you think I could have been wrong? Wait, where are the guards? There now. They're not all freaked out now. That guy is. Ooh, so is that guy. Fuck. Yeah. At least two of the guys aren't all freaked out. Come on, back and fuck up. Watch out. Uh oh. That was a oh, bloody, bloody fool. It's <laughs> With God damn it! You saw nothing. Apparently he didn't see anything. 
That's one down. Yoink! Have a nap, motherfucker. I'm sorry, that was rude of me. He's dead. Murdered. Uh, yeah, you guys it's murdered him. They're rude with these. Ah. You alert? Of course you're alert. Oh, no, you're not. They're rude not with these patrols. Old place like this. Place like this. It's fucking street. What? Did I just see something? No. Oh. God, this is tricky. Alright. At least that leaves two that are on high alert. Forever. Forever, forever. Okay, you stay there. I don't care. I have ceased carrying. Jesus. Oh boy, fighting there. You to are it. you murderer? How am I the murderer? Also, he doesn't seem to care. Also, I was in the dark. What? Gone. Dark, that isn't dark, 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 to dark, dark, dark. Bloody hell! So ah. found you! Well, now about that. Die, Probably die. a risk I shouldn't have taken. Hopefully, one of them just get up. Alright, how, how can I tell? There's no. Well, there are handles on there. Oh, I just walk up to it. I didn't even click on it that time. All quiet. Evening. Ah, that makes more sense. If I would have looked to my right, I would have seen why they they want me dead. Hmm, I can use a dark arrow to put these out, but where's the fun in that? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like I I don't know. Like a I don't know. Ma'am, how are you? This is very fancy for the area, don't you think? Oh! I saw something funny back there. I think you should take a look. Let's go. Could use some action. Weird. Someone must have um, moved it. I was that something? Uh, what's that I see? How? Like, seriously, how? And also, why is that picture sideways? Touching her, and it's dark. Soon tight. That's it. Go the hell away. Surprise! Those goblets aren't working. They're drafty, anyhow. You sure it's actually worth it eating here? I mean. I'm glad I have such long hands. The guy at the front desk has a bow. Wow. Almost like a. Huh. I'm, I just need to use the bathroom. Toilet is out of order. Please accept our apologies for the inconvenience. Ooh. Interesting. Nothing. Hello? Not even sure I saw anything anyway. Cause I swear I heard the thing open again. Ooh, what's that? Is that a darkness arrow right there? Aha! Fancy that. It's Cookie! Hello, Cookie, how are you? You, you you're feeding the there. Hmm. There he goes. Hi. I better get some help or something. She dropped her tray too. Impressive! 
But, uh, yeah, about that. Ah, crap. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag, signing off.